Markets are selling off. You don't want to make the wrong decision. Find out why on this year's New Year's edition, Money Minutes. All right, it's your New Year's edition of Money Minutes. <laughs> Ryan Payne, Courtney, C Money Dominguez. We're here at Rockefeller Center, we the are? center of it all. The center it of it all. It's your first time here, too. I have seen a lot of new places since I've done Money Minutes. I've only been in New York for a decade and not seen any of the sites. It's crazy. But thanks to the show, crazy. we're here. And we want to talk about New Year's resolutions. Um, markets down court. Uh, you know, we had a terrible sell-off here, yeah. and we don't want our viewers to make the wrong decision right now. Exactly. Yeah. Whenever the markets aren't doing well, it's a really hard time to be an investor. And it's the easy thing to do is say, you know what, I just don't want to be in it. I'm just going to get out of the markets and not worry about it. Yes. But it's the exact opposite of what you should be doing. Yes. And what's kind of interesting is when you look at the markets over the long run, they do well even with the ups and downs. Like, what do the markets do on average? I think it's something like 9% a year, which is a pretty good return over the long term. Exactly. Yeah. But what's interesting is the average investor does not get 9% a year. It's much lower, isn't it? What is it? I think it's less than 4%, which is like less than a third of what the markets actually do. That's terrible. Why um, is that happening? Because we're emotional. And right now, it feels so good to sell, but it's yeah. the wrong move. It's like if we were your personal trainers, mm -hmm. and we were telling you, you're going to be on a diet this year, starting the year, and you're reaching for that chocolate cake, <laughs> we would slap your hand away and say, don't eat the chocolate cake. You're not going to like that now, but you're going to be happy later. Same yeah. thing, you don't want to sell the markets right now because you're going to regret it later. Exactly. Yeah. So with New Year's resolutions, it's a really good time to make sure you have a plan in place with your investments because long term, if you really focus on that, it will work out even with the ups and downs and not focusing on the headlines or what the markets are doing. You need to focus on your goals and it's a great time to be looking at that. So click on the link below. You can subscribe to our weekly content and stay up to date on all of your financial needs. And as always, be, be bullish. bullish. So of course, it's been an amazing year of Money Minutes. I mean, we've traveled all over New York City, talked about various financial topics. Hopefully it's been really helpful and informative for all of you guys here. But stay tuned, we have a lot more exciting things to come, a lot more of that you need to know in your financial life. So definitely stay bullish and watch our Money Minutes. Also, we want to give a shout out to our cameraman. It's another year, end of Money Minutes. I love doing this show, it's a great show. Very educational, very informative. These guys are great, they're very knowledgeable, and I love creating, I love editing the show. Stay tuned, more to come. Happy New Year, and be